Speaking of that vortex, I mean, we heard Trump do another rally last night. He's going to do another one in a couple of weeks, apparently. It looks like he's going to run for president. When you have so many millions of Americans out there who are still invested in him, it's still invested in these lies, you have a Republican Party that is fearful of him, won't do anything about him. How worried are you about our democracy right now? Well, the, we're in the fight of our lives, and, um, you know, he continues to propound his big lie, and everything flows from his big lie. It's shocking that uh, one of America's major political parties, the one founded by Abraham Lincoln, has now wrapped itself around lies, propaganda, conspiracy theory, and disinformation. They're now outside of our constitutional order. They attack our constitutional system. They attack the outcome of our elections, so they fail the basic responsibility of a political party, which is to accept the constitutional structure as it exists. So uh, we're down to one party here that is a pro-democracy party. We invite everybody all along the political spectrum from whatever point of view to join us in defending the democracy. There could be no more important work that we have, and we've got to defend all of our institutions the courts, we've got to defend the press, we've got to defend the Congress, we've got to uh, defend the rule of law itself against um, what Donald Trump is proposing. They no longer act like a modern political party, they act like a religious and political cult of personality, and it's a very dangerous thing uh, that has evolved over there, and we're asking for people to stand strong, and I salute uh, patriots from the Republican Party, like Liz Cheney, like Adam Kinzinger, like uh, the seven senators who voted to convict, the ten representatives who voted to impeach, all of those who are standing up for the truth, because that's what's at yeah. stake right now. All right, Congressman Jamie Raskin. Uh